everyone, this is Rachel from iPass Processing and on this video, I'm going to answer some of the frequently asked questions for the NCLEX examination. So, let's first dive in with the first frequently asked question. The first one is, what is the processing time frame for the Board of Nursing? So, the Board of Nursing's processing time frame differs with what Board of Nursing you are going to apply for the NCLEX. Say, for example, you applied through Texas Board of Nursing, usually the processing time frame will be around 6 months to 7 months, sometimes it reaches 8 months because the credential evaluation by CGFNS will also take time and it will depend on your evaluator. So for in a Board of Nursing, it's almost the same with the processing time frame of uh, Texas Board of Nursing while New York Board of Nursing's processing time frame can also be 6 months to 7 months although we do not have the credential evaluation which will be done by CGFNS. For other Board of Nursing, it's usually like that because step one usually will be your credential evaluation which will take longer because of the processing of your uh, school, the processing of your license on your in your home country license. So in most of the cases, usually the processing time frame for the Board of Nursing will be around 6 months to 8 months. There is no more. Board of Nursing that can give you two months or three months that within the time frame you will be approved for the examination anymore. It will not be like that anymore at this time because of course you have to consider the volume of applicants that are applying for the NCLEX right now. So if you wish to get started with your NCLEX, start as soon as possible because it's not that you're going to decide now that you want to take your NCLEX you will already be approved for your examination in a matter of two months or three months. So that's the first FAQ. Second frequently asked question, when am I going to receive my authorization to test? So your authorization to test cannot be received if ever that we will not be proceeding with the payment of four through the Pearson view. So you do not expect that you will be able to receive your authorization to test unless we are going to proceed with the next step of your application and that is for the payment of the Pearson view. The third frequently asked question, how long is the validity of your authorization to test? It differs. If you applied an IPASS through New York Board of Nursing, Texas, Florida, Pennsylvania, Montana, NMI Board of Nursing, Connecticut Board of Nursing, usually the validity of your authorization to test is valid for 90 days. However, if ever that you apply through Texas Board of Nursing, the validity of your authorization to test is only valid for 75 days. So remember that within the validity of your authorization to test, that would be the time that you should be able to take your examination. You cannot extend your authorization to test unless there are unexpected circumstances like the natural occurrence of previously there was a Taal volcano eruption, there was a, the, the incident that we are also currently facing right now which is the coronavirus outbreak. So there are cases wherein the schedule of the applicant was cancelled and then we communicated with the board to extend the validity of the application or the time that the, the examinee uh, can take the examination because of course the examination was already cancelled and it was not intended and it was the decision of the peers and view that they are going to cancel the specific examination of the, exa of the examinee because they cannot be able to deliver the examination. So in usual cases, that's the usual time frame or the usual, the, vali the usual validity of your authorization to test. It can be 75 days and or it can be 90 days depending on the board. The fourth question, will I be able to receive an approval coming from the Board of Nursing that you are already approved for the NCLEX? So there are specific Board of Nursing wherein you will be able to know that you are already approved for your NCLEX 
because they are going to email you and to notify you that you are already approved with your application and you can move forward with the scheduling of the Pearson View. However, there are also Board of Nursing that will not notify you and it is us, your processing agency, the IAPAS processing, who will inform you that, hey, you are already approved for your examination and if you are ready to take your examination within 75 days or within 90 days, then we can already proceed with the next step of your application. The next frequently asked question is, am I going to receive an active license? So, after you pass your examination, which is the NCLEX, it's not true to all Board of Nursing that you will be able to receive your active license. There are Board of Nursing wherein you can receive your active license. There are also those that we still need to submit your license application and we have to pay for the board. Say for example, specifically Illinois Board of Nursing, they're not going to issue you your license right then and there after you pass the NCLEX wherein if you pass the NCLEX through Texas Board of Nursing or NMI Board of Nursing or New York Board of Nursing or Montana or Connecticut, they are going to immediately or uh, automatically issue your active license. So in cases like Illinois Board of Nursing, we have to apply for your license and we have to pay for the board in order for them to issue you your license so you have to know whether the board of nursing that we are going to apply with is going to give you an active license or they will not so there are also other board of nursing wherein you need to provide first your social security number for example florida board of nursing wherein you cannot be able to receive your license unless you will be able to provide them with your social security number although you will be approved for the examination you can take it with the exam without problems but they are only going to issue your license once that you have provided to them your social security number so take note you have to know whether it will issue you an active license whether you will need to provide a social security number or whether we have to pay the board for you to be able to receive your active license so next question so what is the expiration of my license so definitely after that you have received your license it can be through mail or it can be digital license it can be electronic they say the digital or electronic they can probably email you your license so you can see in there the validity of your license the validity of your license usually varies. There are board of nursing where in the validity of that license can be two years or it can be three years or it can be months for the initial license that was issued to you. So take note as to the license expiration because we have to maintain that our license should be active. What are the factors that will affect the license validity or the expiration date of your license? I mean to say the initial one because there are a lot of clients, say for example for Texas Board of Nursing wherein they are shocked and they are surprised why their initial license is not lasting for two years. So there are factors like odd and even numbers and also it will be affected with your birthday. So there are specific rules that are being followed by the board. Just check on the license expiration as to when it will expire and we have to renew it 60 days that's the earliest one 60 days prior to its expiration so definitely after the license renewal on your initial license it will all already follow that it can be two years or it can be three years depending on the validity of the years that the board of nursing um, has so it we are going to they are going to follow their rule as well so the next question is is my license forever that's a good news for you because you only need to take your NCLEX only once you don't need to take the NCLEX anymore if you're going to change your state um, I mean to say 
but if ever that you will be deployed to another state so if you might be thinking that you have to sit for the entrance again if you will be deployed to another state wherein that will not be your initial state no you only need to take your entrance once and that will be valid forever if ever that you will be deployed in another state so the thing or the process that we will be doing will be license endorsement so you don't need to prepare anymore for your NCLEX exam because one license and that will be valid forever and that will be accepted by 50 states in the USA so that's what is good about them I think those are the common questions or the frequently asked questions by our clients. For more frequently asked questions, I will upload it if ever that I will be able to think what are those topics that usually our clients will ask us about the NCLEX application. So thank you very much and for other videos, check on our YouTube channel for more valuable videos. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please click the subscribe button and please click the bell notification so that you will be notified if ever that we have a new release. And we promise to you that we are going to release a video every Wednesday in the evening and every Friday evening we in a weekly basis so that you will be able to have a lot of information that you can use from and will be a basis as to the reminders, as to the instructions for your examination for on the Middle East as well as the USA examination, which is the NCLEX. So thank you very much for your time, and I hope that you had a great time today, and God bless everyone. Bye!